Alicia and I'm just gonna really quickly start this vlog because I mean you already know what it is by the title <laughs> I'm so excited and we need to leave now I've just gotten home from work and just about to head off and it's a one and a half hour drive to the factory and then we'll be getting my new flight oh my god for those of you who don't know I have talk, spoken about it before but I am getting a I actually put in the order for this float, I'm gonna talk to you as I'm doing things, getting ready to go. Um, I put in the order for this float in November last year. So it is now April 2021. So it has been a long wait because a lot of people had orders in for floats and stuff. And what my float is, it is a Tuza because is just amazing and my old float which we are selling at the moment um, is a Tuza it's an 80s model Tuza I think it's 86 88 um, and it's just amazing so we went with another Tuza it is a two horse angle load extended um, so it's warm blood size it's big <laughs> and then it's got the front tack box so the three-quarter tack box um, I went with all the safety features it's all padded it's got the drop-down rubber fully adjustable bays and it's made for big, big horses. Um, and it's got an awning and bits and pieces like that. Anyway, they're the most of the features. Um, we have to head off now. We are making a stop at Macca's on the way because I have not eaten lunch, but I'm keen. So we are taking the new car, um, which is mum's car. Um, we got the new car because we got the new float and we needed something that could tow three tonne. So it's an Isuzu MUX. Let's go. <laughs> Hi. Hi. There's the old float. If anyone wants it, please buy it. Make an offer. <laughs> we do have a price for it in the moment, but honestly, it's a really good float. And now that we've got the new one, we want this one gone. Macca's stop. To fuel Re up on the way. Shut up. So that's it on the right. Look how high the awning is on it. Oh, I forgot the little airflow things it's got on the top. Wow, that is a special awning, isn't it? It's cool. Wow. Our custom little decals. Next to someone's racing one that they've ordered. Looks like the same size. God. <laughs> Hey Dad, did you notice the number plate? Hi. Did you notice the number plate? Little old Tuza. Big brand new 2021 Tuza. This is so much taller. It's the next day, and now it's time for my car to be hitched up to it and make sure it's all okay and that the braking system is aligned well with my car because for lessons and stuff I'll be taking my car which is obviously this car here I'll be taking my car to lessons so I'm just gonna have a drive of it before I drive Bambi alone to my lesson on Thursday love how good my logo looks on it the car off down. okay the top of your head's in it <laughs> yeah no I won't So we got the split barn doors, as you can see. The reason I chose the split barn doors is so we can travel with them back like this. Um, some people do travel with them up, but it's not actually recommended and it's not really good for the struts on them to travel like that. So we picked the split barn doors and I personally like the look of them better. I just think they look a bit nicer. So I picked the split barn doors. And then here is the back ramp, which dad will demonstrate how to put down in a minute. So everything is a bit stiff at the moment just because it's new. So as you can see, fully rubber. I have put shavings down already because I am taking it out in a couple days. Um, the upgraded dividers. So put that back in. 
in there. That actually magnetizes back as well onto the wall, as you would have heard. But we got the upgraded dividers, so they're padded like this, as you can see. It just left gross, greasy fingerprints on that. Um, but yes, so they're padded. And then we upgraded the middle divider with rubber as well. So as I said, I did all the safety features possible. So as you can see again, upgraded rubber kickboards here and at the front where they would possibly pour if they do. That, no, 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 that stays on where it was and goes up, yeah. That latches back like that to hold it back. That one can be opened as well, I'm not gonna bother, but yeah, so rubber kick, like pour board here, rubber all along there and then the padding here and we also upgraded the windows so they are the slide what way does it go that way <laughs> so they slide back and they are safe for traveling to have them open for more airflow um, I have that on both sides there um, and we also again for the horse's comfort got air vents we actually got two as in extra and dad will open them comes with this little thingy which is also for the awning you just push it up and you can have them like that when you travel and it's the same way to pull them back down um what else did we do so we've got we went with the mesh just to keep them all the same for the fills the fills here on all three um i also got which was not uh, like it was not an added extra necessarily it was just a choice didn't change the cost but fully adjustable bays um not that these will really need to be adjusted because i'll close this one i'll show you like this is a warm blood sized float meaning it's taller and longer so i'm in the bay now and then this is how much room i have in the bay that's not adjusted but i can make it either smaller if need be or wider um, I got that just for the purpose of if I ever decide to breed, which is highly likely, and I have a mare and foal travelling, this is just safer. Um, then we've also got the rug rack up here, which doesn't have anything in it at the moment, but will get used a lot. Uh, and then it's got lights. It's got one light there, and then one light over there. But yeah, so that's the inside of the float, and I'll go and show you the tack area. So... That's the front window, my dirty, dirty car. Um, but yeah, and that's the side door, which I'll open from the other way. So I'll show you the side again. Oh, here is the awning as well. Now the reason, if you have seen awnings on floats before, you may not have seen it this high. And as you can see, when the split barn doors are open, this is the right. are so tall. So this allows us to be able to pin back the split barn doors properly. So if it was any lower, it would not be able to not be able to do it. I'm not going to pull out the awning because um, I can't really do that. But it is really, really good, heavy duty, sturdy um, awning, and it's going to be really handy. So then, this is our custom paint job that we did. Um, we didn't want to go too out there, so we wanted to keep the float white. And then Dad made this logo for me a few years ago. So I didn't want to put my name or anything like that on it because I thought that would just be a bit too much and I don't really want it to be that recognisable when I'm out. So, you know, if you're a true fan, you'll know by that, but that's my logo. So that's one of Tooze's designs, but Dad matched the colour to my logo and to the stripes. Um... So yes, I did black rims for the wheels as well. <laughs> I just thought they looked cooler. And climb back over. Um, oh, I added two tie-up rings to each side. Normally there's just one on each side, but in case I ever took two horses out that want, you know, were more comfortable tied right next to each other, that's why I did that. So that's why I added that extra. Um, this is the door into the bays in there um, excuse my horrible nail polish and then here is my tack area so um, when I was choosing the tack areas I didn't actually know this was an option so I was expecting uh, like I was just gonna get the swing out tack box but when I was putting together the float and was told about this tack area I instantly chose this 
um, and the reason is is because this will allow me to access it even when the float ramp is up so the problem with the swing out tack boxes yes they're great but the ramp always has to be down where this I can access easily um, the brackets are all in place in the float if later on I do want to add out, add the swing out tack box as well however this allows me to have more than enough room there actually is two saddle racks but we've put one away because obviously I only have one horse that I'm taking out and I only have one saddle because I'm a dressage rider but this is how the saddle racks go another one goes in there and you can close it up and it tucks away neatly as you can see like that um, but it's not good to travel with that in um, when there's no saddle on it so because it rattle around and it's just better to have it out so that's why that's there now I have somewhat packed my tack area as well the, this is the breakaway system which I was talking about as well before in our old float we didn't need to have this just because it was I think you only need this when you're at a certain weight and because this is a much heavier float and can take much more weight you need to have this so that's what we were setting up in my car before and we have them now in both the cars that tow so this is what I have in here at the moment. I have my show head collar, my show bridle, which I do have a bridle bag from my sponsor Mac and Mall Trading on the way. So this isn't set out how it will be set out in the end, but I've got my show boots, spurs. I don't ride Bambi and spurs, but I just want them there in case. I have my good grooming kit that will now just live in the float. Um, water bucket with a hose and shampoo. I also will get a wash bucket and a sponge in here as well. Um, in that box I have my boots that I use for lessons, so they're white boots in there but they're just not the cleanest of white boots. Then I've got leather wipes, I've got a tail guard and about, I've got two like rags and a towel. I need to put baby wipes in there, that's something I'm missing. At the back I have my good competition boots which are full of like clean, really clean white boots for warm ups and stuff. And then in saving the most boring thing for last, in the Audi bag, we have the ramps for to use for if you get a flat tire or anything like that. So a necessity that has to come in case we end up getting a flat tire in the middle of nowhere and need to change it. So yeah, and this changes, ugh. as I said, the gust struts are still very um, stiff because they're new. And everything is fully lockable as well. We made sure it could be fully enclosed so no weather will get in when it's closed up completely and everything can be locked up with a lock and key, which is good. I spoke about the awning, <laughs> but yeah. So that's the float. And then there's our old one. For sale. For sale, please buy. <laughs> it's a nice little float. Um, but yeah, so that was my first float. What what model? 80. 85. So I was trying to remember before. So it's a 1985 twos of this one, straight load. So this is the float that I've had ever since we got Jep. Trusty little old float. And then we've gone all out. Bought a brand new twos though, because they're so good. Yeah. Very smick. It's going to be difficult putting a horse in this for the first time because I'm sure she'll filthy it. Hopefully we can just keep the outside looking this nice. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed my float tour. I am so excited for my first outing in it on Thursday. Actually when this video was up I would have already had my lesson in it. Oh! And then I'll be off to Sydney Dressage on Sunday for my first competition with it. Oh I'm so excited. Um, this is something that I've been wanting for so long now and I am so happy that I've finally got my dream float. It is everything I could have wanted. I'm so happy. It's just, it's perfect. And I wanted to say a massive thank you to Tuza for all you did for me and for making this whole process so simple and just amazing. I'm so happy with my float. You guys did such an amazing job with it and I'm just over the moon with it. I'm so happy. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week.